State lawmakers are trying to find a path forward today toward a more peaceful legislative session after some tense moments on the House floor this week. Here we go again. We, we you know, the discrimination and uh, segregation and things like that is, is uh, excuse me, I have a right. State Representative Greg Porter there defending himself as some Republican lawmakers booed his speech. The Indianapolis-based Democrat was raising concerns about what he viewed as racism and discrimination in an education bill. All of this ending with an altercation in the halls of the State House. Now some lawmakers say they want to see change in the conversation and the tone of that conversation. Fox 59's Kayla Sullivan joins us now live from the newsroom to explain how this could perhaps be a turning point for the second half of this year's session, Kayla. Well, Democratic State Representative Vanessa Summers says after Porter got booed, she followed him into the hallway and told State Representative Jim Lucas, you're all racist. She said State Representative Sean Eberhardt thought she was talking to him and then started lunging toward her. State Representative Bob Morris shoved Eberhardt into the restroom to separate them. No one was hurt, but it left many asking, how did we get here? It's racism. You can boo if you want to. House Democrats say this wasn't the first time Republican lawmakers heckled them on the floor this session, but leadership says it needs to be the last. Our members deserve uh, to be heard and they, and they deserve the respect of all members on the floor. Certainly I have to be better and collectively we have to be better and we're going to continue to work on it. House Speaker Todd Houston says the pandemic is playing a role in this tension. He says COVID-19 precautions have made it difficult to build better relationships and some are quick to assume motives. It's just a little hot and we need to take a break. Well, I got I got to do a better job. I, I got to do a better job of helping facilitate those types of conversations. House Democrats say merely bringing up concerns of racism and discrimination in a bill doesn't mean lawmakers are assuming motives. I don't think they were questioning their motives. They were trying to get their point across that this type of policy has been discriminatory in the past. They ask Houston for cultural competency or racial bias training for all lawmakers and repercussions for those involved in Thursday's incident. Houston hasn't made a decision on either request. Got to figure out what the, the facts are. Republican State Representatives Jim Lucas, Sean Eberhardt and Bob Morris did not respond to requests for comment on their involvement, but Democratic State Rep Vanessa Summers shared her regrets. I should have stayed in my seat and not said anything. Well, this all occurred on a day that members of the Indiana Black Legislative Caucus were celebrating their heritage and dressing in a traditional African attire. It was the state Democrats uh, mentioned that they wanted to see consequences for those involved. Did they specify at all what, what that might involve? Well, it could be similar to what has already been done in the past. Lawmakers have been required to apologize for their actions on the floor. Or like we saw over the summer, Representative Jim Lucas got some committee assignments taken away from him after posting what many considered to be a racist meme online. All right, a lot of tension there at the State House this week. Kayla Sullivan live in the newsroom. Kayla, thanks. Also responding to that hearing today, concerned clergy of Indianapolis. The group released a statement condemning what they called racist actions against those black lawmakers more than just yesterday's outburst. The group is highlighting multiple actions this session that they say, quote, raise serious concerns about whether African-American Hoosiers can be treated equally in this state. They also call on state house leaders to, quote, set a tone of civility and enforce it. You can read that full statement along with this story on our website, fox59.com.